trust is when we get our girls together. Now, we know that the girls love maths, but this is the first time we've been able to get girls from across the trust in one location in this inspiring uh, building so that they meet and make connections with girls from other schools. You can do tiling with... We've introduced them to an old girl, to Frances Kerwin, who is a professor of maths at the Institute here. Um, and hopefully they'll, they'll understand by hearing her speak that you can be a year six girl uh, one year and a few years later you can come to Oxford to study, you can be, end up as a professor of maths. We've given their teachers challenges to do as well and it's great for our girls to understand that we're all a community of learning. Yeah. Okay, so we're trying to build the tallest tower out of these spaghetti sticks and marshmallows so we're sort of trying to work together agree on, the, on a good strategy for um, you know, what would make a good solid structure. So we're trying to trade off stability and height. Getting to see um, other teachers from other schools and a lot of us sort of met on the um, GDST courses in Victoria. So I've met you before on those courses and it's nice to sort of see, see those teachers with their classes as well, their groups of children. get a, a, like an opportunity to work with other schools. They were all very good at working as a team even though they weren't with their friends. They kind of grasped the concept very quickly. We were helping them with their happy numbers task and they did that really well. So yeah, they were hard working, persevered and just kept going. Yeah, well, they were really, really intelligent. Um, so I would say, okay, maybe you should try doing this and I'd come back 30 seconds later and I'd say, we've done. Happy numbers are basically you have to try and find, you have to try and square each number and then you have to try and add them up together and if you keep squaring until the number gets to one then it's a happy number and if it doesn't ever get to one then it means that it's a sad number. <laughs> So what we hope the girls would get today is a real sense of excitement about the challenge that maths provided for them. A sense of intellectual quickening in, in exploring mathematical challenges and in doing so with people they didn't know before from other schools. <laughs>